Finding the value of the trig function indicated. I will do number one, you will do two, three, and four. Actually, I will do number two because I want you to do sine, cosine, and tangent. So to find the trig function indicated, it's all in reference to, again, so aka toa. I need to first find the trig ratio. I will write out, so my first step is writing the trig function indicated tangent of theta equals, and in this instance, tangent is up here. It's the opposite side over the adjacent side. I need to find where theta is. It's here. The opposite side over the adjacent side. Now, again, with any right triangle, I can piece this together. The hypotenuse is always across from the right angle, so I can label this hypotenuse. You need to label each triangle like this every time, no matter what trig function you're given. So that's the hypotenuse. The adjacent side is always the other side that makes the theta. So the adjacent side that touches theta that's not the hypotenuse. So 21 is our adjacent side, which leaves the opposite to be 14. So I have labeled my triangle. Another way to think of that, if I'm standing where theta is and I'm looking, if I was to throw a snowball, you would throw it across the pond. Opposite is across from where theta is. Opposite is the side that doesn't touch theta. So I have labeled my triangle. I'm going to then write out the opposite of theta, because tangent is opposite over adjacent. The opposite of theta is 14. The adjacent of theta is 21. If it can be reduced, go ahead and reduce it. This reduces to seven. Just kidding. Just kidding. Divide by seven, so it's two thirds. Sorry. Reduces to two thirds. At this point, I actually need to find out what theta equals. In order to do that, I have I've set up. So that's step one. I found step one right here. Step one. I have to set up an equation: tangent of theta equals two thirds. Now I have to get rid of tangent. In order to do that, on your calculator, you should see that above the three given sine, cosine, tangent, there's an inverse function above both of those. Remember, a given function tangent, the inverse of any given function will cancel it up. So it's tangent inverse of both sides. It cancels out there, so I'm left with theta equals, punch that on your calculator, Make sure you're in degree mode. So you might have to hit mode on your calculator and go over to degree. Make sure it's there. And then I hit tangent, or second tan for tangent inverse of 2 divided by 3. Close up the parenthesis. And I get theta. Sorry, I wrote theta equals 33.7. Same process. So to reiterate, I identified where theta was. I labeled my right triangle in reference to theta, then I noticed that tangent is opposite over adjacent, and then I solved for theta after I got my ratio by taking the inverse.